Hey Falcons, welcome to the College and Career Corner, where we talk about all things related to your post-graduation opportunities. Today, we're going to talk about college application essays. As a quick disclaimer, this info is geared toward the Common App essays, but it still applies for all other college essays, including ones that you would do for scholarships. First off, I get it. Writing college essays isn't fun. It can also be pretty intimidating, especially if you don't know what the college is looking for or how they're going to be reading your essay. Sometimes the best news is that a college doesn't require an essay. And the second best news is that the college's application is on the Common App because then you can reuse the essay that you've already written. Regardless of if your college's application is through Common App or another platform, Here's some advice to help make writing your college application essays easier. Sometimes, like with the Common App, you're given the option to select a topic to write on. Selecting your essay can be difficult, but don't ever think it. There's no perfect essay that every college wants you to answer. College views your essays to see, one, if you can write well, and two, to learn more about you. So I recommend identifying topics that you care about or that you think that you relate to well. The most important tip on this list though is to be authentic and personal. How quickly can you identify if someone's being fake or avoiding talking about something? I promise you colleges can see through that stuff too. Also, use the word count that you're given, but don't fill your response with fluff. The quality of your words in your essay far more important than the quantity of your words. And going off the previous two tips, don't just list facts and figures. You should include details and you should give context about everything you write, but your essay shouldn't read like an encyclopedia entry. This is a personal response, not a historical report. As with any essay, don't be afraid to get some feedback. Ask a teacher, a friend, a mentor, a parent, or a guardian. Ask whoever you think would give good feedback on the quality of what you're writing. You wanna make sure that they're looking for your grammar, readability, interest, and these are also all the qualities that you should look for in your essay anyway. One thing with getting feedback, make sure you give them enough time to give you feedback. Don't ask a teacher the week before, ask them at least a month in advance, and be prepared for them to say that they just don't have the time because other students have been asking them to do recommendation letters or to give feedback on their essays as well. So have some others in mind for that feedback. Follow general writing tips. This is just a, a good rule in general for, all, for uh, all application essays, for all scholarship essays, for all writing you do. Uh, follow all those general writing tips and the rules that you've learned in your language arts classes. If it's been a rule or a standard that you've been following so far, there's a good chance that they still stand today. And as your last tip, don't write about COVID as the major obstacle you've overcome or other cliche uh, topics. Colleges have seen that enough, and many are begging students to stop writing about it, at least in a general sense. If the obstacle that you've overcome or that you've, you know, you've significantly lost something or you've been really affected by COVID and in a specific way, that's fine. You can include that. Just don't say, oh man, COVID was just so tough. It was, it is a big deal, and a lot of people still struggle with it, but don't make this a general topic, because again, at that point, you're still avoiding that main tip of being authentic and personal. This is a sample writing process that you can use for your essay, but you can also use it for other essays that you write in college as well. If you've already got a process that works for you, that's fine, you don't have to use this one. This is just a process that I use that's worked for me. And one thing that I've picked up that may help you throughout the entire part of it is talking through your topic. And what I mean by that is use your phone or an audio recorder to talk through your response. You can even use the talk to text feature to actually have everything written down for you at the same time. If you're not confident in your writing ability, just start with talking through it. Once you've talked through it, write it down, check your grammar, check the word count, review it for clarity, and then start that revision process. And when it comes to writing, 
your essay too, any essay that's talking about something in a personal matter, something about your life, you want to make sure that it is really readable, right? Don't use any words that you wouldn't use normally. As a general tip, if like a fourth grader or a fifth grader could not understand the essay that you write, you need to revise it a little bit more to make sure it's more clear, that it's more concise, and that it reads well, right? As a final piece of advice, remember that colleges want to learn more about you in these essays. The question doesn't have to be perfect. Your response doesn't have to be the perfect response to that question. Most colleges feel that prompts in these essays should just be left open to your interpretation anyway. So focus on selecting a topic you feel confident you can write about and keep to those general tips. Now read that final advice again and take a breath. Remember, this is your introduction to a college. This is you putting your best foot forward, but it's not like a graded assignment. You should take it seriously, but for now, just focus on the content. Focus on answering the question you want to answer and be passionate about what you're writing about. If you're confident in your response, others can help you with the grammar, the structure, the style, but you're the only one who could actually provide that response. And one more thing, all of these tips, again, they're for college application essays, but they can also apply for your scholarship essays. So if you want to talk through this, or if you want to talk through just writing your college essays in general, you can always make an appointment with your college and career specialist or with your counselor through eClass, and we'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day, and go Falcons!